The most important, I think, is moving from defect reduction to a more proactive prevention approach to understanding risks. So thinking about patient safety as preventing the patient from incurring any number of risks. So the patient comes in, there are inherent risks, but then there's risks from the environment, risks from staffing, risks from all of the various interventions that'll go on. So how do we think about the environment we're in is in, re, inherently risky and think about prevention? Right now, uh, most of patient safety is about defect reduction. So uh, how do we, which is prevention as well, to some degree, but some of it is preventing pressure ulcers, for instance, or uh, we might be thinking about how do we help the patient with sepsis. Well, what we want to do is spend more time preventing sepsis and less time detecting and mitigating the effects of sepsis. So a lot of the time, we're still spending finding those patients who are ill and treating them, locating, identifying, and, and treating. And we need to be moving way upstream to say, what are the conditions that are creating the likelihood of these defects occurring and spend more time on those. That's, that's the biggest change, and that is the most promising change that we have by far.